why I joined the guard. People had gone up to the rooftops to escape the rising waters. Talk about intense moments. We had to lower the guys on line some 30 feet down. This is where teamwork and training really paid off. It took steady nerves and steady hands for the chopper pilots to hover like that. No question, guard pilots are the best in the world. I couldn't believe it. I just saved a life. What could be better than serving the people of my hometown? In the National Guard, you serve your community as well as your country while you work or attend college. In return, you gain skills in which you can build a career and receive benefits that can help you pay for college. Learn more about what it means to be a citizen soldier at NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Florida National Guard. Aired by the Florida Association of Broadcasters and this station. Talk 1470, WWNN, Pompano Beach, Boca Raton, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. AM 1470, WNN, with more of what you need to know. Start your day with the Steve Kane Show, Monday through Friday, 6 to 9 a.m. On South Florida's Health and Wealth Network, AM 1470, WNN. WJL Financial, we can help. Lots of companies claim that they'll buy any home in any condition for cash, but what if there's a lien on your property? They'll probably tell you, bye-bye, but not with WJL Financial. WJL Financial buys homes any condition, any problem for cash. We had a major outstanding code violation. We solved the problem with the city. We also fixed the property and made the city very happy. Being able to solve the title problems that come up in the real estate industry is what makes us head over heels over our competition. We can help. Call WJL Financial. They'll buy your home and take care of all the paperwork. Call now. 1-888-839-2444. WJL Financial. We can help. Call 1-888-839-2444. Talk health, talk wealth, talk politics. Talk 1470 WNN. The opinions expressed on the following sponsored program are strictly those of the host, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of this station, its staff, management, or sponsors. Welcome to the Heal Yourself Show with Drs. Jonathan Chung and Greg Jean-Pierre of Keystone Chiropractic in Wellington and the Upper Cervical Institute of Florida. Dr. Chung and Dr. Jean-Pierre are chiropractors with a focus on correction of the upper cervical spine. Together they have worked with some of the leading doctors and health experts in the country and have helped thousands of patients regain their health from a variety of chronic health problems related to the structural alignment of the head and neck. Dr. Chung and Dr. Jean-Pierre have authored and published in peer-reviewed scientific journals. They've also been featured speakers around the country on topics ranging from head injury, chronic pain, spinal health, and fitness. Their goal is to teach you how to unlock the doctor within and heal yourself. Join them today as they share their passion for serving families and helping people who could not get better through traditional and alternative means. Call the Heal Yourself Show at 888-565-1470. And welcome to the Heal Yourself Radio Show. I'm Dr. Jonathan Chung, and as always, I'm with my partner in crime, Dr. Gregory Jean-Pierre. And we are Nuka doctors serving the South Florida area. And the purpose of the Heal Yourself Radio Show is really to educate, um, you know, the people of South Florida and to all of our listeners around the country about the natural self-healing powers of the body because we believe that the body that works at its best has the doc has a doctor within and that's the best doctor you could ever rely on in order to best take care of yourself we don't believe that um, people should be relying on medicine or other doctors in order to get health care i believe that people should be empowered to take control of their own health and take their best care of themselves we got a great show today we're going to be talking about inflammation because inflammation is a pretty loaded buzzword in the field of healthcare. There's a lot of myths about it that we're going to be tackling today and we're going to be talking about you know when is inflammation good, when is it bad, and what you could do about it if it's something that is affecting your health. 
And hello, yes, and we have a really great show for you, and I'm excited to to do this show because again, a lot of there's a lot of myth out there about what inflammation is, and really, inflammation is part of the healing process. So again, finding the inflammation is what leads to chronic inflammation versus interfering with the natural process of the body, which is what the show is all about: teaching you how to um, get in touch with the doctors within to allow the body to gently heal itself. So as always, we're going to take a quick commercial break just to give you some time to actually log on to the website healyourselfradio.com or www.nnradio.com and you can follow us there because we along with the um, talk here we're going to have some slide to go along with it that way you can um, get to know what's going on and as always if you ever want a copy of any slides or any anything that we do here please give us a call in the office and we'll be more than happy to make that available to you again this is a live show uh, audience pos- participation is welcome so give us a call here at 1-888-565-1470 one 888 8565-1470. We'll take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. When was the last time you had your atlas checked? When your head and neck shift out of place, it can actually affect your whole body. Do you suffer from migraines, TMJ, dizziness, or chronic back and neck pain? If so, you may have an atlas problem and you need a Nuka chiropractor. Nuka allows for a gentle and precise correction of your spine without any popping, twisting, or cracking associated with conventional manipulations. Call Keystone Chiropractic at 561-247-0044 and schedule a free consultation. Dr. Chung is one of approximately 300 doctors in the world trained in the Nuka protocol of spinal correction. Stop suffering. When your doctors can't determine the problem, you need to contact Keystone Chiropractic. We won't ask you to believe in chiropractic or commit to a lifetime of treatment. What we will do is show you what normal is and we'll tell you how to get there again. We'll show you using precision technology that your spine has changed for the better, even after one correction. Then we'll show you the path for keeping it that way. If you are tired of constantly patching the problem and you're looking for a long-term solution that you can both feel and see for yourself, then a Nuka office is the right place for you. Once the foundation has been fixed, then we'll teach you how to keep it that way through customized recommendations designed for your spine so that the problem doesn't come back. What do you have to lose? Call today to schedule your complimentary consultation. If you call during the hour, we'll give you a $100 gift certificate to use towards your first visit. No questions asked. No commitments, just a conversation to see if we can help. Two convenient locations in Boca Raton and West Palm Beach. Call Keystone Chiropractic today and end your days of suffering with chronic pain. Call us at 561-247-0044. Check out the website, HealYourselfRadio.com. That's HealYourselfRadio.com. Are you searching for answers to your health problems? Are you looking for an alternative to harmful drugs and dangerous surgery? Have you tried everything else and figured this is just something you're going to have to live with for the rest of your life? At Upper Cervical Institute of Florida, we provide you with a safe, effective, and natural approach to restoring your health and regaining your life. Dr. Jean Pierre will find the cause instead of masking the symptoms. Dr. Jean Pierre utilizes the most specific techniques in detecting and correcting the vertebral subluxation. At Upper Cervical Institute of Florida, we pride ourselves in providing you with the highest standards of health care for you and your entire family. The procedure is gentle, effective, and affordable for everyone. Call now to schedule your free consultation. 561-409-3594. That's 561-409-6594. Or visit our website at www.uci-fl.com. Welcome back to the Heal Yourself Radio Show. I'm Dr. Jonathan Chung, and today we're talking about inflammation. And we gave our listeners a little bit of time to log on to the website, www.nnradio.com, so you can follow along as we present our PowerPoints for the day. And you can also tune in at healyourselfradio.com and go through our website directly if you want more information about who we are and what we do. And while we're going through the slides, we're more than happy to answer any of your questions, so feel free to give us a call at one 888 Five six five one four seven zero. So, Dr. Jean Pierre, let's talk about inflammation a little bit and give our listeners a little bit of a 
introduction into what we're going to be discussing today. Yeah, and again, the thermal inflammation just means that there's something not working right. But as a matter of fact, that is misunderstood, is misunderstood for many years because uh, research now is showing the importance of, heal of the healing process of inflammation. There's a clear shift in science that is taking inflammation away from being the enemy of health and a condition to be suppressed and eliminated to one in which the importance of the role is, is allowed to proceed. So that's the body's normal mechanism to a tissue injury. And so one of the things that I talk about in the office is when people ask me, about you know what they could do about reducing inflammation then the first thing I usually ask them is well why do you want to reduce inflammation and well most people will say well isn't inflammation bad because they listen to the news and they mm -hmm. hear things like inflammation is linked to heart disease it's linked to diabetes it's linked to you know rheumatoid arthritis which are all diseases that no one really wants but when we actually look at inflammation from a physiologic point of view we actually see that inflammation is a critical piece of the healing process yeah and again the, the type of inflammation that most people are referring to is chronic inflammation we'll get to what's caused uh, chronic inflammation just like you see here typically when somebody asks me if they want to get rid of the inflammation the first question is what happened because again the inflammation is the normal body response to something um, that might have happened and it's a defense mechanism that triggers whenever body uh, any part of the body is damaged um, most of the body defense is located in the blood and and inflammation is the way that the uh, body can can actually send those repair uh, structures to that site to allow the body to heal itself. And if you look at this chart here, then I mean, it's a pretty dizzying array of things that yeah. happen when someone has an injury to the tissue. So, you know, let's just take, you know, a sprained ankle, for example, because right, that's, that's a the... pretty common thing to think about. You know, we go into the next slide and we think about some of the things that happen is that <clears throat> inflammation happens to prevent the spread of damage from things that may infect the tissue, like if the bacteria might get into a wound, or um, if you had like a broken bone that, it, that got into the area, mm -hmm. then you need stuff, parts of your immune system to go in there and really clean up the area before you can put down new tissue on there. And that really sets the stage for the rest of the healing response. Right, and again, the, when, when you injured um, a part of your body or whatever the case may be, the inflammation is the body's natural response in order to take care of that problem. So again, just like I said, a lot of the healing um, effect that the body has to heal itself, um, it's, it's, it's being brought by the inflammation, bringing the blood to that site to create those healing response to allow the body to heal itself. So when we talk about uh, inflammation, it's, it's a necessary process, and without that, the body would not heal itself. And there's defi definitely a, a couple of different things that uh, the inflammation does. And again, just like it says on the side, it's really the way of the body to respond to an insult. So you don't want to stop the inflammation, you want to allow the inflammation to do what it's supposed to do, because that's how healing is about to take place. So what I usually tell my patients is that when you have an injury like a sprained ankle, if your body didn't send those white blood cells there, if it didn't swell up, if it didn't raise the temperature of that specific area, then there's a good chance that that sprained ankle would never be able to repair yeah. and get back to how it normally functions. And we can see into um, the next slide, the inflammatory response, you know, let's talk about, you know, some of the signs of inflammation. When you have an injury, when you cut yourself, when you have a broken bone, when you have um, any type of tissue injury, what usually happens is that the site of injury will usually get red. And the reason for that is there's a rush of blood that goes into that area with, that creates that redness. And the next thing that happens is, you know, the area will start to actually heat up also because of the increased blood flow that's there. Yeah, and again, the, the, the purpose of that is, and the inflammatory process begins with chemical alarm. It's a series of inflama inflammatory chemicals that are released in the fluid. So an injured tissue cell, um, phagocytes, lymphocytes, mast cells, blood protein, are all sorts of inflammatory mediators the most important of which is histamine and kinins. So when the prostaglandin gets there, those are all the signs that you get, but all this process has to take place in order to uh, return back to normal function. And then also when you have the increased heat in the area, that also slows down the growth of bacteria. So it's actually one of the mm. things that can help reduce your chances of getting a systemic infection, which is what people yeah. are really worried about 
whenever you have a cut, you don't want the germs to get into your bloodstream because once it gets into your bloodstream, that's when people can get really sick, and that can certainly lead mm. to an emergency situation. And just like when we always talk about the body's a self healing, self regulating, self adapting mechanism. So that inflammatory process is taking place in response to tissue injury. So that is the nat natural step that the body's going to take to not only bring about the, the healing process, but also that same inflammation carries away all the debris, all the da damaging stuff to allow the body to again repair itself and become um, be become significant again. So when we stop that process of inflammation by doing whatever, and just recently um, there was an article that talked about on um, the old outage when you have an injury uh, with the ice and elevation thing, and it came out that that wasn't a, a good thing to do because that can actually slow the process of the inflammatory um, um, process because that's actually the body's healing itself, and the the ice can actually decrease that uh, that that transition. Definitely, and um, one of my favorite things is swelling because I always try to think of, to myself, especially when I was in chiropractic school, I thought about, you know, what is the purpose of having this happen into the body? And when we think about swelling, what could be possibly useful about a body part swelling up? Like, is there anything useful about that? And when you actually think about it, the swelling actually sequesters that area, um, isolates it from the, out the other parts of the body. So it would just be like, you know, if there were like a pandemic and you had a quarantine, it's just like it's taking that injured site and quarantining it. And that, A, reduces the chances of um, other bacteria spreading yeah. in the area. And B, it also actually limits the amount of movement that that joint can have because you want that area to try to be less mobile so you don't do further damage to it. And, and just like you, um, one of my favorite is pain because, again, a lot of time people think pain is bad, but pain is really the body's uh, signal to tell you that something is wrong. So the pain is there not only because of all the inflammation taking place and all the debris and, and, and the trauma itself, but it also tells you that something is going on to stay off of it. Going back to an ankle injury, uh, a lot of people, when they have that, they take the medication to numb the pain, and what they do is they go on and, and step and, and walk and do the exercise, but they further insulting the, the area because they no longer feel the pain and they think everything's okay. So pain is, is, a, is a good thing. It's, it's, still, it's telling that something is wrong and you need to rest to let the body do what it's supposed to do rather than take away the pain just like you don't want to take away the inflammation. Allow the process to continue to allow the body to gently and naturally heal itself as it, as it best can. And that's one something I want to just take a couple more minutes to just talk mm -hmm. about is, you know, pain. Why don't we want to shut that off? And <clears throat> People are kind of surprised by that because people go to the chiropractor with the expectations like, yeah, he's going to help get rid of the pain, right. which might be true because a lot of people do get relief in the office. But um, one of uh, my mentors actually used to talk about, you know, why didn't you ever do acupuncture and why, one of the reasons why I don't do acupuncture is not because acupuncture isn't effective, right. because right. it certainly is. And he used to tell a story about when he used to do acupuncture, <clears throat> he had the patient with a herniated disc come in and... He did the acupuncture treatment on the patient with the herniated disc, and the patient's pain went away pretty much immediately. And he was just stunned by this, that just putting a bunch of needles inside of you can make the pain go away. <clears throat> now, you've reduced the pain that was limiting your how much motion you had in your body so you wouldn't do any further activity, and the person just went on back to their normal activities again without actually fixing the initial problem, which was the herniated disc. And so that person would, went to the weight room and mm. threw their back out even more to the point where they actually needed to get surgery afterwards. Mm. Okay. So pain is something that, you know, even though it really is unpleasant and it stinks to go through it, That's it's necessary. an important signal that tells your body to slow down so yeah. you don't just jump back into a life that your body isn't prepared for. And I, I think that's where we fell as a society because we have all these drugs, all these medication to take care of the pain. But you got to understand the pain itself is not the problem. The pain is just a signal that something is going on. So what I always tell people is address the problem first. And by addressing the problem, the pain usually subsides. And pain is usually the very last thing to come. By the time you get the pain, that problem has been going on for so long. And as you notice in your office and in my office as well, pain is usually the first thing that starts going away. But the problem is still there. So pain is a great motivator to get you to do 
do something. But unfortunately, in this day and age, we're always taking care of the pain, but not the problem, which is why we have chronic uh, syndrome disease. And we talk about the chronic inflammation, which is what's really bad for you, but it's all caused because people are trying to move away from pain. Um, if you look at the next slide, we talk about hyperemia. This is just kind of a slide that kind of shows you what's going on, has, ha, how the blood flows into the area, um, which is co create a congestion of the blood occurs when uh, with, with the count for the redness and the heat and the inflamed. So that's why uh, you get the swelling and you get the inflammation going on at that, at that area there. And I want to skip a couple of slides into the benefits of inflammation <clears throat> because <clears throat> here's where you really get into it. So, you know, I, I don't know if our audience members really need to understand what hyperemia is. Right, that's are, a little bit dumb. Because those are just the more technical words right. for what we just discussed. But when we talk about the benefits of inflammation, inflammation is often associated with the inflammatory response to tissue injury or trauma. But inflammation is at work in the body at a biomolecular level on a constant basis. So that means that the cells of our there. body are always creating little tiny bits of inflammation. So that it's always keeping us on guard. And this is happening without any symptomatology. And we'll talk about how this lack of symptoms can actually work to your demise rather than to your benefit. And inflammation also helps to maintain homeostasis in the body and it coordinates the immune system and that's the biggest thing about inflammation is immune system and inflammation are intimately tied together so when we think of inflammation we think about you know process of heating something up and the immune system ultimately has the biggest amount of control and dictating how much the body temperature will increase and that's through a type of cells in your body called T cells which a lot of people don't know, even though they're very effective in taking care of viruses, is that they're actually a very important part of mm. killing off cancer cells too. Yeah. And and that's the that's one of the things I we always talk about in my office as far as cancer. Cancer is really the body um, cell duplicating abnormally. Every single one of us in this room, every single one of us that's listening, have cancer in their body. Now, the reason why some people express and some people don't is because of that f phenomena. When the nervous system is able to pick up that um, duplication, the body actually sends the killer T cells to investigate and to get rid of that um, uh, inflammation and allow the body to heal itself. Versus if your nervous system is not working properly, guess what? That inflammation keeps going on, and that's when we get the chronic inflammation, the duplication of those cells keeps happening, and then tend to 12 years later you get cancer. So it's important to know that inflammation is always dormant in the body because that's how the body um, protects itself from um, trauma and insult because the body is always ready to actually take care of that. So by getting rid of the inflammation too early, that's when we get in trouble. And we'll get into that as far as uh, some research study. So inflammation is good for your bottom line. And when we talk about T cells, um, one of the things that is a buzzword, especially in the field of immunology, is called um, cytokines and cytokines are the chemical messages that your immune cells use to communicate with other cells in the body so whenever cytokines are being released those are the things that tell the body alright let's raise your body temperature or no let's decrease it and one of the things that I don't think a lot of people realize and even a lot of doctors realize is that the same cytokines the same chemicals that the immune cells use are the same chemicals mm -hmm. that your nerve cells use um, as neurotransmitters. So even though they're same chemicals, when they're dispersed by different cells, they actually give them different names. Mm -hmm. And that's how the nervous system can actually in integrate with the immune system is because they're using the same language through these same chemicals to tell each other what to do. Yeah, that, that's that's important. And if you if you go on the next slide, we I, I've put several research on study that's kind of proving exactly what we're talking about and again science is actually moving towards um, talking about inflammation being a good thing rather than a bad thing um, because that's the body's normal response as far as allowing the body to protect itself and clearing the damaged tissues and providing the body with the essential nutrients to be able to heal itself um, so you know no one can survive without the precise thing and you gotta understand the body is a self-healing self-regulating self-adapting mechanism the body's always is adapting to the environment so when the environment create a, a create a situation such as a broken ankle or something that's not normal that's the body's normal response by getting all these cells together by getting the inflammation and by allowing the body to protect it to get rid of the problem and allow you to survive and adapt to that environment and when we talk about you know shedding light on the immune function I think we're gonna spend a couple minutes on this one before we go on commercial break because this one's really important because what it's talking about is how the immune system uses inflammation to create healing 
in the body. But a lot of what we do is actually geared to turn that system off. Mm. When we talk about the biggest class of drugs in the world, we're actually talking about anti-inflammatory, which means basically turning off inflammation. Now, <clears throat> those anti-inflammatories are a very valuable source of medicine for controlling pain. So say if I went and had a surgery and I had a knee operation or a knee replacement, and after the surgery, you know, that's gonna be a tremendous amount of pain, and I know exactly what's causing that problem, is the fact that my leg just got cut open for six hours and it's hurting really bad. When you take anti-inflammatories for that reason and narcotics for that reason, then yeah, it's okay because you're using it as a short-term response to get out of a period of immense pain when you know what's causing it. But when we just haphazardly throw anti-inflammatories at whatever painful condition we might be in, we're actually hampering our body's ability to repair because we're shutting off this valuable immune response. Yeah, and again, and that, that's what I always tell people. We're not against drugs. We're not against medicine. We're not against, against anything that may be um, used to relieve um, pressure. But the problem is you got to understand what you're using it for. Um, a lot of the things that we're going to talk about as far as the NSAIDs and and and, and um, prostaglandins, all the stuff, corticosteroid that we use, they're actually shutting down this process, natural process, because we are trying to get the quick fix and trying to get rid of the pain like we always talk about on this show find the cause find what's going on because in this instant if you have an insult an injury and you get inflammation the goal is to allow the body to, to do that to to go through that process rather than stop that process so inflammation is a good thing but again just like you just mentioned if you have surgery and you know the problem and you want to get rid of the pain you want it you you more than welcome to take the medication because you understand the process you understand what's causing the problem so always find the cause once you find the cause the solution is a lot easier than you think and one of the most common drugs that are prescribed for people with autoimmune disease, which is basically an anti-inflammatory disease, are steroids. And when we think about you know, steroids, one of the most common side effects of steroids <clears throat> is that when you listen to those long radio ads about their side effects, they talk about you know, susceptibility to tuberculosis or fungal infections and all these other things. And the interesting thing about it is that when you have a healthy immune system, tuberculosis and fungal infections are actually stand very little chance against a healthy immune system, which is why most people that are healthy don't get these right. diseases. But when you take a steroid, you actually increase your odds of getting it because what a steroid does is a steroid is a chemical signal that tells your immune system to get shut off. So while anti-inflammatories may shut off parts of your immune system, if you take steroids for a long enough period of time, you're actually shutting down your immune system almost completely, yeah. which leaves you open to those um, typically harmless diseases. Yeah, and again, um, right now we're going to get into the the bad uh, side of infection when we talk about the chronic infection and really the cause that, that's going on. So let's take a quick commercial break and um, then we'll get back into chronic inflammation. And again, folks, this is a live show. If you have any questions or comments, please give us a call here at 1-888-565-1470. 1-888-565-1470. And now we're going to get into the chronic inflammation and the drugs and what's causing a uh, problem and the misconception about inflammation. Are you searching for answers to your health problems? Are you looking for an alternative to harmful drugs and dangerous surgery? Have you tried everything else and figured this is just something you're going to have to live with for the rest of your life? At Upper Cervical Institute of Florida, we provide you with a safe, effective, and natural approach to restoring your health and regaining your life. Dr. Jean Pierre will find the cause instead of masking the symptoms. Dr. Jean Pierre utilizes the most specific techniques in detecting and correcting the vertebral subluxation. At Upper Cervical Institute of Florida, we pride ourselves in providing you with the highest standards of healthcare for you and your entire family. The procedure is gentle, effective, and affordable for everyone. Call now to schedule your free consultation. 561-409-3594. That's 561 561- 409-6594 or visit our website at www.uci-fl.com When was the last time you had your atlas checked? When your head and neck shift out of place, it can actually affect your whole body. Do you suffer from migraines, TMJ, 
dizziness, or chronic back and neck pain? If so, you may have an Atlas problem and you need a Nuka chiropractor. Nuka allows for a gentle and precise correction of your spine without any popping, twisting, or cracking associated with conventional manipulations. Call Keystone Chiropractic at 561-247-0044 and schedule a free consultation. Dr. Chung is one of approximately 300 doctors in the world trained in the Nuka protocol of spinal correction. Stop suffering. When your doctors can't determine the problem, you need to contact Keystone Chiropractic. We won't ask you to believe in chiropractic or commit to a lifetime of treatment. What we will do is show you what normal is and we'll tell you how to get there again. We'll show you using precision technology that your spine has changed for the better, even after one correction. Then we'll show you the path for keeping it that way. If you are tired of constantly patching the problem and you're looking for a long-term solution that you can both feel and see for yourself, then a NUCA office is the right place for you. Once the foundation has been fixed, then we'll teach you how to keep it that way through customized recommendations designed for your spine so that the problem doesn't come back. What do you have to lose? Call today to schedule your complimentary consultation. If you call during the hour, we'll give you a $100 gift certificate to use towards your first visit. No questions asked. No commitments, just a conversation to see if we can help. Two convenient locations in Boca Raton and West Palm Beach. Call Keystone Chiropractic today and end your days of suffering with chronic pain. Call us at 561-247-0044. Check out the website, HealYourselfRadio.com. That's HealYourselfRadio.com. And welcome back to the Heal Yourself Radio Show. I'm Dr. Jonathan Chung, and as always, I'm with Dr. Gregory Jean-Pierre. And today we're talking about inflammation, and we're about to get into the negative side of inflammation, which is where most people, you know, think about all the reasons why you'd want to decrease inflammation is because of a concept called chronic inflammation. Um, chronic inflammation is basically a state where your body is always releasing inflammatory molecules and your immune system becomes hyperactive. And some examples of chronic inflammation are from diseases that are well known like rheumatoid arthritis, um, lupus, and some of these um, severe autoimmune disorders. And then there's parts of chronic inflammation that people associate with things like obesity, metabol metabolic disease, um, diabetes and heart disease. Yeah, and we're going to get on some of the cause of that, but just to kind of give a quick uh, understanding, and I get a lot of people that come in and ask about arthritis and how we can help with arthritis. Um, just to break down the word, when you hear any symptoms or any disease that have itis in the middle, itis is inflammation. So just to give you an example, dermatitis, so the first part of the word is telling you where the location is, and it's telling inflammation of. Arthritis is joint, so and joint inflammation. So that's why we are able to take care of and we claim that we can take care of uh, inflammation in, in the body, specifically chronic inflammation that's been there. And a lot of time they don't know what's causing it or how to remove it. Um, but we're going to uh, actually give you some example of what's going on. But understand that anytime you hear the term itis, it's inflammation. And the first part tells you what part. So inflammation of the joint would be arthritis, dermato derm dermatitis would be inflammation of the skin, and so on and so forth. So let's get into some other things, and we're going to talk about different things. Specifically, um, drugs is one of the number one cause of chronic inflammation because we are using it in the wrong manner. Again, when we talk about the non-steroidal, the NSAID, which is one of the most common and most popular drugs to take for inflammation, but it, it actually impedes the normal process, but not only takes care of the pain, it, take care of, it, it really takes care of two of the major uh, component of inflammation, which is pain and inflammation itself, which can cause chronic inflammation to begin with. So the way that non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, or NSAIDs, which are basically your Tylenols, your aspirins, your ibuprofens, they all have similar function. And what they do is <clears throat> they actually turn down the inflammatory response mm -hmm. by affecting certain chemical mediators in your blood. And one of the most important ones are called prostaglandins. Mm -hmm. And prostaglandins are important to normal functioning. Um, and they're also important for not only the inflammatory process, but they're also important for things like digestion, um, kidney function, uh, heart function, and blood clotting as well. So when you start to distort 
you know, how these chemicals are uh, working in the body, then not only are you going to affect the inflammatory process, but you have a big impact on other systems in the body, which is why <coughs> these drugs, when you use them too long over a period of time, are commonly associated with, for example, aspirin is associated liver with disease liver and disease and digestive issues. Um, Tylenol acetaminophen is heavily associated with liver disease. Right. Um, it's actually one of the most common causes of liver disease is chronic Tylenol use. Yeah, th think about this. There are more drugs designed to fight inflammation in the human body than <coughs> any other single categories of drugs. NSAIDs are taking regularly by approximately 33 million Americans and anti-inflammatory stop to disrupt inflammation by suppressing or altering the chemical signal associated with the inflammatory response. This interrupts with the natural healing process and can often lead to condition of chronic inflammation. So again, the same thing that's designed to stop the pain and stop the inflammation is the main thing that's prolonging the process and creating uh, chronic inflammation, which is what caused in the long run all those diseases that we talk about. And the next class of drugs is called corticosteroids, which is basically um, what we were talking about in the show earlier is corticosteroids are drugs commonly used to treat um, inflammatory disorders like rheumatoid arthritis. Um, they're used to treat uh, psoriasis, dermatitis, mm -hmm. asthma even, and that's why you see a big correlation with kids that have asthma and they're also more susceptible to infections is because part of their treatment leads them to be more susceptible to infections and it's the same thing when people are treated for rheumatoid arthritis they also tend to be sicker more often because of the drugs they have to take in order to control their um, other disease process. Right, and again, anytime you take steroids in the body, <laughs> steroids have some really negative ex uh, effect on the body, but one in particular, especially in the office, um, steroids really promote um, bone loss and osteoporosis and arthritis itself. So the same thing that you're taking to relieve some of these pressures and, and, and cre um, release some of these inflammation, so to speak, is creating a more damage than good because not only is promoting the promoting the osteoporosis or um, or or um, arthritis in your body, is creating even more chronic inflammation, which is going to lead to some of the same diseases that you're trying to fix. And I think it's important to recognize that, you know, there are times when you need to control some of these outbreaks. So of course, you're not just saying to haphazardly just quit taking the medications. Right. But it's also important to recognize that there are other factors that can help mitigate inflammation without shutting down one of the most important parts of your nerve, or uh, your body, which is your immune system. And of course, the next drug that we'll talk about is um, acetaminophen, which is the main ingredient in mm -hmm. Tylenol. And I know that it's heavily associated with liver disease and of course it's one of the biggest causes of liver disease in the United States. Right, and again, um, if you look at the next slide, it also talks about Tylenol being, it can cause chronic kidney failures, uh, 13 million Americans. And you know, so uh, again, even though we go in really hard on drugs, you gotta understand, drugs was designed um, to help you cope nowadays we are a society of quick fixes so instead of trying to figure out what's going on we go straight to the drug and that's the problem with our society and just we talked about last time when it comes to the life expectancy when it comes to health we are number 41 because of the fact we're asking the wrong question we always turn to the drug and to the medication instead of allowing the body to take care of the inflammation as it should and these drugs that we're taking and currently they are 350,000 American undergoing kidney dialysis and why do you think that is because of the inflammation and, and, and the drug that we're taking to um, upset the inflammation that is a naturally occurring process in the body. I think that's one of the funny things that you brought up and it reminded me of um, a conversation I had with one of my good friends <clears throat> is we were talking this was probably about six seven years ago before I became a chiropractor <coughs> and he was actually talking about how he couldn't imagine what his life would be like if he didn't have his, you know, daily ass or daily two or three aspirin That's per right. day. And I was just like, you've been taking two to three aspirin per day? Like, how long have you been doing that for? And he said, well, I'd probably like 10, 15 years. And this is a guy that was only like 23 years old. And that just blew my mind is that someone could, couldn't imagine their life without taking aspirin for that long when aspirin was really designed to, all right, you know, I'm achy for a couple of days, I'll take aspirin for a couple of days, and that'll help get me through it. But when people live their life 
completely reliant on this drug just to be functioning, then that's a completely different story altogether. Yeah, but you're getting in, into a touch, touchy subject here because, again, for years and years, we always hear uh, take two aspirin a day, keep the doctors away. Um, it, pr it, it does it prevent heart attack and all this stuff. So, again, people, you got to understand, um, it, it's been said that an apple a day does the same thing, keep the doctors away. So which one do you prefer, taking something that's natural or taking something that eventually is going to lead to dialysis that's eventually going to lead to your kidney shutting down your liver um shutting down but again that's the problem with this society we always trying to fix part of you without looking at the entire body and that's when we get in trouble because if you want to protect your heart you take three aspirin a day or whatever or you take a baby aspirin but that's focusing on one part and not the entire part and over time guess what 350,000 Americans are on dialysis, and I guarantee you they were all taking the same medication over and over and over. I think it goes into a other underlying looming problem is the fact that when there's no pain, there's no problem. So when people use it to mask their pain from right. their chronic problem, then it's like, all right, it's gone. That means you know the problem's taken care of, even though it perpetually comes back day to day, and you have to rely on it every single day yeah. so I think a lot of the problem has to change your mindset around the fact that if there's no pain there's no problem we've talked about this on the show repetitively is pain is a poor indicator of body functioning and what's most important is that your body functions well all the time rather than oh do I have pain because no. pain can just be as good a signal of a healthy body as it is for a unhealthy right. body. And let's go to the elephant in the room, the next slide, which is antibiotics. And <laughs> pretty much whenever you go somewhere, you have a sore throat, and anything that's going on in your body, whether it's a viral or you know bacterial infection, the very first thing you prescribe is antibiotics. And again, it clearly on the first sentence says antibiotics, the very drug prescribed to fight bacterial infection also impairs the body's immune system, which is crazy to think because again, our antibiotics is so overused and it's not even used the proper way because again it's fighting the very system that the body's created to actually heal that inflammation so it can prevent white blood cells from attacking and destroying the bacteria so the same thing that you're creating to get rid of the um, the problem is actually creating the problem by preventing the body to do what it's supposed to do so all we th all we're saying people is just really understand how your body function because once you understand that some of these things that we've be, we, we've had as, as far as normal day-to-day -day operation just doesn't make sense and more and more research are, are being done to prove that the body is able to do what it's supposed to do and some of these drugs that have been prescribed for years and years and years is is really not doing anything rather than getting the body to um, not do what it's supposed to do and make you even sicker so I think it's important for us to talk about some solutions for chronic inflammation mm -hmm. Um, and of course, we're going to go into the chiropractic implications of this as well. But right. you know, there are ways to control inflammation by changing what you put into your body right. that can have a huge impact. And I know one of the big things that you and I both talk about frequently are omega-3 fatty acids, which are powerful um, mediators of inflammation without the negative side effects of you know, a lot of the incense. Yeah, and again, inflammation, we're talking about the drugs that, that may cause inflammation, but a major, a major component of what's going on in, in our society is what we put in our body. And because everything has been done to streamline everything, our cows are no longer eating, uh, are eating grass, so we're eating all these hormone-fed uh, uh, meat and everything. So our omega-6s are really high, and our omega-3s are going down. And the majority of places where you get omega-3s are within the fish and, um, you know, grass-fed meat and stuff like that. So that's actually creating more inflammation in the body than anything else. And actually, I'm going to be doing a lecture specifically on omega-6 and omega-3s and how inflammation is being is being is is going rampant in the body because of such a thing. So diet plays a key, key component. And pretty much everything that we eat these days is infl inflammatory. Yeah, especially things like the vegetables oils when we heat them too high and then of course just loading up on way too many um, processed foods and sugars a lot of people don't know is that the more sugar that you eat the more it kills the immune system while increasing the odds of other parts of the body creating inflammation and even the things that we're taking for inflammation like they said olive oil is really good for you as far as you know increasing your omega-3 
but once you get that olive oil to the boiling point that actually switch it over to something completely different and olive oil is really omega-9 but something about the odd things like omega-3 and omega-7 omega-9 is really good for you so as long as we can get into balance we can naturally decrease inflammation by taking in the right food and instead of um, the inflammatory food that we're taking and then on top of that we take the drugs to combat that inflammation which makes it even worse um, so let's let's get into the solution and again um, a, a few years back um, what we deal with in the, in the office is the central nervous system and a few years back they said there was no connection between the central nervous system and the immune system that they were two different uh, things and I, I, I show a video in my office um, but now it's been proven that again the central nervous system is the system that controls pretty much every other system in the body including the immune system yeah and we're like we were talking about earlier is that they use the same chemical messengers to communicate with each other right. so they used to think that these were two separate things. So people thought that neurotransmitters that your nerves release were completely separate from mm. the cytokines that your immune system released. And what you actually find is that there, a lot of times there's a lot of overlap in those signals. So this is what they're finding is that the nerves emit these neurotransmitters. They get Once they get into the blood and then start interacting with the immune system, then they act as cytokines, mm. which either upregulate or downregulate um, inflammation inside the body. So really nothing, it's a, so important to remember that nothing happens in the body without the permission of the brain and nervous mm -hmm. system. And as long as your brain and nervous system are sending the correct messages, then it has the better way of dealing with inflammation than if they were sending the wrong messages. Right, and just like we talked about, inflammation is, a, is the body's natural um, process to actually uh, heal itself and get rid of toxin and, 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 and stuff that doesn't belong. Again. Nothing happened in the body without the constant of the nervous system being into place. So having your nervous system working properly is key. And again, the nervous system control consists of the brain and spinal cord. And like I usually tell people, when your spine is perfectly aligned and the body is able to heal itself, the nervous system is actually able to, to send all the signals exactly where you need to go. And the slide that we have here, we talk about the nervous system and inflammation. The quality of healing is directly proportional to the functional capability of the central nervous system and the messages. So it's, it's really important to understand the role of the nervous system and what we do in the office how can we decrease inflammation and promote healing by simply allowing the body to do what it was designed to do and moving any interference. And I think that's one of the things that we didn't mention during the earlier slides when we talk about the inflammatory process is that <clears throat> when you have an injury, a signal gets sent to your brain immediately and it gets right. sent yeah. there really fast. And the brain is actually the thing that turns on this response to say, all right, let's send more blood to the area. Let's make sure we turn up all our white blood cells and send those into the area. And then let's swell the area to make sure that it becomes secure. The brain actually stimulates that response, whereas if you were to try to replicate that in a system where the nervous system is cut off, then you don't have that inflammatory response there, which is a big part of what happens with diabetic neuropathy. They don't have the same red inflamed process that happens with a wound, which is why you know the tissue doesn't heal, which is why you uh, some diabetics have to go down the road of getting amputations and <laughs> stuff like that. Yeah, have you ever thought like you know if if you and I get a, a simple cut, it's no big deal, you know. But when a diabetic gets that if they don't take care of it properly, all of a sudden that may lead to amputation. That's an, uh, an example of your nervous system not functioning properly. And the drug that are designed to actually help you are the drugs that are preventing that those signal to go and those pain signal to go from the site of injury to the brain that are preventing all those um, feedback mechanism from brain to injury to allow the process to take place, which is why it's counterproductive when you take the medication not allow the body to do what it was designed to do. And the nervous system is the most vulnerable um, to interference and it's protecting structures of the spinal column. So when the spine and everything is communicating at 100%, the body is absolutely able to send back the feedback mechanism to allow those things to take place. But when it's not, that's when the body's um, not working properly. And we'll get into the term that we talked about, the subluxation, the misalignment. That can actually prevent the nervous system from communicating at 100% as it should. Definitely. And I think it's good time to take a quick commercial break where We'll uh, <clears throat> give you a couple of moments to you know, review some of these notes, and then we're going to get into the chiropractic role and subluxation and how this affects the whole inflammatory process when we come back. When was the last time you had your atlas checked? When your head and neck shift out of place, it can actually affect your whole body. 
Do you suffer from migraines, TMJ, dizziness, or chronic back and neck pain? If so, you may have an Atlas problem and you need a Nuka chiropractor. Nuka allows for a gentle and precise correction of your spine without any popping, twisting, or cracking associated with conventional manipulations. Call Keystone Chiropractic at 561-247-0044 and schedule a free consultation. Dr. Chung is one of approximately 300 doctors in the world trained in the Nuka protocol of spinal correction. Stop suffering. When your doctors can't determine the problem, you need to contact Keystone Chiropractic. We won't ask you to believe in chiropractic or commit to a lifetime of treatment. What we will do is show you what normal is and we'll tell you how to get there again. We'll show you using precision technology that your spine has changed for the better, even after one correction. Then we'll show you the path for keeping it that way. If you are tired of constantly patching the problem and you're looking for a long-term solution that you can both feel and see for yourself, then a Nuka office is the right place for you. Once the foundation has been fixed, then we'll teach you how to keep it that way through customized recommendations designed for your spine so that the problem doesn't come back. What do you have to lose? Call today to schedule your complimentary consultation. If you call during the hour, we'll give you a $100 gift certificate to use towards your first visit. No questions asked. No commitments, just a conversation to see if we can help. Two convenient locations in Boca Raton and West Palm Beach. Call Keystone Chiropractic today and end your days of suffering with chronic pain. Call us at 561-247-0044. Check out the website, HealYourselfRadio.com. That's HealYourselfRadio.com. Com. Are you searching for answers to your health problems? Are you looking for an alternative to harmful drugs and dangerous surgery? Have you tried everything else and figured this is just something you're going to have to live with for the rest of your life? At Upper Cervical Institute of Florida, we provide you with a safe, effective, and natural approach to restoring your health and regaining your life. Dr. Jean Pierre will find the cause instead of masking the symptoms. Dr. Jean-Pierre utilizes the most specific techniques in detecting and correcting the vertebral subluxation. At Upper Cervical Institute of Florida, we pride ourselves in providing you with the highest standards of healthcare for you and your entire family. The procedure is gentle, effective, and affordable for everyone. Call now to schedule your free consultation. 561-409-3594. That's 561-409-3594. 409-6594 or visit our website at www.uci-fl.com Welcome back to the Heal Yourself radio show. This is Dr. Jonathan Chung here with Dr. Gregor Jean-Pierre. <clears throat> and we are live coming from www.nnradio.com and hearyourselfradio.com. And today we're talking about inflammation. And before we get into what we actually do to address some of these inflammatory problems, uh, Dr. Greg, I believe, is going to be talking about a little bit about the uh, subluxation and what that has anything to do with this. Right. And again, I, I want to... Um start by saying this. The beginning of disease process start with postural distortion. And really what postural distortion means is that the um, brain is unable to communicate 100% to whatever blood vessels, organs, and glands that it's going to because of the term subluxation, which is a misalignment of the spine not allowing the body to heal itself. It says that up to 90% of the energy output of the brain is used in, relate, in relating the physical body to its gravitational field. Simply put, when you're when you don't have your head on straight, where the spine is not straight, the brain's not able to communicate 100 percent. Over time, creating symptoms and disease. And once you do that, and there was an article that was written that says sitting is um is is now the is now related at, at to the same thing as smoking. And what really they're talking about is the deviation of normal as the brain communicates with the rest of the body, which can cause inflammation, which can cause cause disease symptoms and stuff like that. Yeah, and I think a lot of people don't forget either is that what this has to do is, is with stress. And <clears throat> spinal positioning in your posture can be a stress in your body if it's not mm. in its right gravitational position. Mm. And <clears throat> when we talk about posture, it's not about just sitting up straight. It's not I'm about, um, <clears throat> you know, how your body looks. It's really about 
how your brain is controlling all these muscles in your body because it's just a symptom of something deeper going on inside the central nervous system, which is you know, specifically what we deal with with the NUCA <coughs> system. And <coughs> with NUCA, we're really dealing with the upper part of the spine. We're looking at how the head sits on top of the neck because when the head doesn't sit on top of the neck properly, then it could create a damaging stress to the blood vessels and the nerves going through the area, which then in turn affect every other structure of the body, whether it's the back, whether it's the legs, whether it's the stomach, whether it's even the immune system. So we're looking at how the brainstem interacts with all these other structures of the body. Right, and again, the reason why we're, what we do in the office is so successful is because of that phenomena, which is the atlas subluxation complex. I usually tell people that the spine is literally the highway of life. Every communication from the brain to every single cell, tissue, blood vessels, organs, and glands has to go through um, the spine to get to where it needs to go. But the key component of that is where the top vertebrae is, which is the atlas, which is where that area of the brainstem um, is, is, which I usually refer to like the fuse box okay so when there's something going on in your house um you can change the light bulb you can um fix the the you know the outlet and everything but when there's something affecting the fuse box it affects the entire house so when that bone is misaligned usually because of trauma injury fall whatever the case is and stress that can literally put your um, take your head off its natural position now allowing the brain to communicate a hundred percent over time starting with inflammation in the body and can create other things with that throughout the entire uh, nervous system <clears throat> and you know a lot of people ask me if there's research on this and there's actually a surprising amount of research that deals with how chiropractic influences the immune system. So there's research that shows that, you know, even in animal models, when animals have their spine adjusted, that the amount of cytokines in their blood completely changes. And we've also seen research that chiropractic, um, people get chiropractic adjustments compared to people that don't get chiropractic adjustments actually have differences between 200 and 400 percent as far as immune function. And of course, <clears throat> a lot of people don't know is that Chiropractic was a big success story during the 1920s flu pandemic where a lot of the most challenging and difficult cases actually survived thanks to the care that they received at the B.J. Palmer Research Clinic mm -hmm. where people were dying by the thousands inside traditional hospital care. Yeah, and again, the sole purpose of chiropractic is not to take care of pain, symptoms, and disease. The sole purpose of chiropractic is to ensure proper communication between the innate wisdom, which is the brain, and the brain, and, and the rest of the body, and function of tissue and cell. So as chiropractors and as specifically as nuca doctors our goal is to remove interference to allow the body to do what it was designed to do which is something i've said over and over and over again but i think it's important that um, our listening audience get that the body's a self-healing self-regulating mechanism the body literally have everything within it to heal itself the only thing is sometimes it gets stuck because of interference more specifically at the outlet vertebrae which is the source where the brain signal has to go through to get the rest of the body and this isn't to say that, you know, if you have a cough, that means you need to get an adjustment because it just might mean that your body's working perfectly fine. But the biggest thing that we always tell people is make sure that your spine and your nervous system is working at 100%. And just looking at the x-rays on the picture is these x-rays tell us how close your spine is at that 100% mark. And we can use the information from those x-rays to really deliver a very precise correction as opposed to a non-specific manipulation because the difference between getting a precise correction and a non-specific manipulation is like the difference between a sniper getting a bullseye whenever he shoots at a target compared to someone with a shotgun firing from 200 feet away just spraying everything in cannon sight. Yeah, and again, the, one of the things I always find interesting is that uh, pretty much every single one of us has been to the doctor. We've had uh, different things checked. We've had our eyes checked. Women have had their, um, you know, female parts checked. And uh, we've all been to the doctors. But interestingly enough, the part of your body that controls every other system in your body is your nervous system. And 
let me ask that question to you, to you listening out there. When was the last time that you had your nervous system uh, checked? When was the last time you had an assessment, a complete assessment of the nervous system to ensure that the brain is in fact communicating at 100% with every cell, tissue, organ, muscle in the body? That's the purpose of why we're here, to educate you on the power of the nervous system and to allow you the opportunity to actually do just that. So as you're listening now, both Dr. Chung and I have a great opportunity for you to do that, so take action. We are offering a $100 gift card or gift certificate towards an evaluation in the office. And again, this is not a commitment. This is not anything else other than a conversation to be able to find out what's going on, whether this is something that's causing your problem and whether we can help you or not. Definitely. And before we go, we just want to let people know that this is our passion. This is what we're here to do is to help people understand that if we can unleash this hidden power in your body and allow it to work again, then you know you could expect miraculous things to happen. So <clears throat> we'll see you next week on the Heal Yourself Radio Show on the same channel at mm-hmm. AM fourteen seventy. And you can check us out on the internet at healyourselfradio.com. Learn about our office, give our office a call, and get in for that consultation so you can see if how you can improve your life. Awesome. And again, uh, if you guys are listening this Thursday, I'll be doing a great lecture on inflammation and some of the things that you can do. And it's going to be um, somewhere in Boca. If you want more information, text 561-410-4988. Uh, 561-410-4988 for free tickets. Join Dr. Jonathan Chung and Dr. Greg Jean-Pierre each week on the Heal Yourself radio show every Thursday at 5 p.m. Listen each week as they interview leading health experts to provide you with comprehensive and natural solutions to make your body work at its best and solve chronic health problems. Right here on 1470 AM, the Health and Wealth Network. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.